there's nine different forms of intelligence that you need to know about. Number one, numerical intelligence. Now, what are we talking about with this? These are people that numbers come naturally to them. They see everything through the lens of a mathematician. Everything is angles, formulas, numbers, data, stats. They love anything to do with that. Riddles, puzzles, strategies. Let's solve this problem. Let's solve that problem. To them, everything, the world is a big problem that we're all trying to solve. And they think they have the right solution for every problem. Next one is musical intelligence. You ever meet people, they can pick up a musical instrument and just start learning by themselves naturally. There's people like that out there. Guitar, piano, they hear something, they can come back 30 minutes later and they can just do it on the piano. And they can come back and do it, right? Now you may say, I can never do something like that. But there are some people that naturally have musical intelligence. Third type of intelligence is spatial intelligence. This is the kind of intelligence where somebody like me, I go into a house, if it's already fully designed, art, furniture, where the bedroom is, where the office is, where the gym is, where the sauna is, I'll say, wow, this is beautiful. But ask me to do it from the beginning to design a house with where everything needs to be. I have no desire to do it. I don't have that lens. Some people have that. Next one is linguistic intelligence. This is people that writing abilities, put an email together, incredible. Giving a message, delivering a speech at the right time, using the right words in a sensitive situation, they know how to do it perfectly well, okay? That is one of their strengths. That is a form of an intelligence on how to put words together and deliver it in a beautiful way. Next form of intelligence is kinesthetic intelligence. These are people that are naturally athletes. The way they dance, the way they walk, the way they perform, the way they play sports. You give them a basketball, boom. You're like, this is the first time you play basketball? It's my second time. How did you just do that? I don't know, it's kind of easy. Hey, here's a baseball, hit it, boom. Just naturally. They have that athletic ability to pick things up. You ever met somebody that has zero kinesthetic intelligence and you try to see them dance? Have you ever heard somebody or met somebody that took dance lessons for five years and still when you watch these people dance, you're like, you know how to dance, but you're still doing it in a very mechanical way versus somebody who naturally can pick it up within two, three months of watching people. They dance as if they've been dancing for 10 years. It's a form of genius. It's, it's a form of intelligence. Next one is intrapersonal intelligence. These are people that are very very self-aware. They're sometimes labeled as loners, but they process issues very well by themselves. They have the ability to reason. They don't have to be around people. They can be by themselves and they're fine. They're enjoying their own company. This is very hard for some people to do, but for them, they can be known as critical thinkers as well as they're thinking and processing issues. This is a form of intelligence. Now this next one is a complete opposite called interpersonal intelligence. These are people that put them in a room. They'll meet someone. They'll exchange cards, information, make friends very quickly. They're able to negotiate. They're able to broker deals. They're able to talk to others and get them to collaborate and get them to work together. They're bridge builders. It's a very, very good quality in the world of business. And that is a form of intelligence called interpersonal intelligence. Next one is existential intelligence. You ever, you ever had a friend that they would ask all these deep questions? You're like, Johnny, what's wrong with you? Tell, tell me why we exist. How do we come here? How do we end up here? Philosopher Aristotle said this, but Plato said this, but Socrates said this, but this person said that. And how about this? What happens when we die? Who came first? Very spiritual, very much about philosophy, ideas. That is their form of intelligence, which it's called existential intelligence. So you may be asking, Pat, what do you want me to do with this information? This is great, I'm glad I learned. I didn't know some of this stuff, but how, what do I do now about this? Very simple. Number one, the person that overly impressed you is that got an intelligence in a certain area that's not yours. But what is your area of intelligence and what do you need to do to increase that to levels that maybe this person cannot reach? But what are you gonna do? You're gonna try to compete him with an area that's natural to him against this side? It's not fair. Or get him to be natural. No, it's saying, hey, this is the area you're strong at. All these other areas, let's try to improve and learn a little bit for the heck of it. But are we going to become a Mozart one day? Probably not. Are you gonna become the next LeBron James or the next? Probably not. But let's do it anyways for the heck of it to learn and improve so we can have a wide range of experiences in life.